Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Good to have you with us. I'm Ernie Johnson. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And now we'll send you out to Kevin Harlan and the crew who are in Minneapolis. Exchanging a few friendly words prior to tip off the getting to know you stage of the proceeding. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. First for Boston, Hayward out there with Jay Crowder. Then there's Horford. And it's Crowder in at the power forwards position. And for the Timberwolves, we've got Rush. No doubt one of the premier big men in the league. A superstar talent all the way around. Then it's Gorgie Dan. And it's Gibson in at the four spot. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. Defense Boston. Now here's Smart. The dish to Thomas. Kicks it to Crowder. Celtics passing it around. Just five on the clock. Here's Horford. And it's good off the back rim and in. Horford's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Celtics. Well, let's go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Sam Mitchell. Uh, Doris, what's the news? He talked about the impact that Al Horford can have on a game and how they'll have their work cut out for them dealing with him. He said Horford's just a complete ball player. He does all the things you want from a big man. He can shoot, handle, and pass. He's always a tough matchup, but it starts with matching his energy level. Kevin will see if they have what it takes. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Here's T following the bucket by the Celtics. Horford with the block. Upside Thomas. Butler with the steal. He kicks it to Gibson. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And Steve, he knows how to get himself on the highlight reel with some of those dunks, but it's not just for show with him. It's an injection of energy for his team and for the crowd. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. The Celtics have gone two or three here to start out the game. Smart kicks to Crowder. Pass to Smart. Outside Thomas. No good from outside. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Wiggins drives in. Teague with the ball. Now Thomas defending. Teague the pass to Towns. Austin on D. Outside T. Outside Butler. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. Austin's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Teague against Thomas. Dishes it to Smart. Launches it. It's rebounded by Towns. Wiggins drives in, and the shot is good. Oh, touch it fast there at the end of the play as he was able to convert on the finger roll. Smart kicks to Thomas. Right side, Thomas, and the foul on Cole Aldridge. That is his first foul of the game. 
I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Now here's Thomas, and it's off the back rim. No good. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Knocks it loose and stolen by Horford. Thomas. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to go on cool. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off the tournament. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for cold. The Celtics with the lead. Horford dishes to Smart. The pass to Thomas. A three ball. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gibson's got three rebounds so far in the game. Jones drives in. That gives them the lead. Jones has got his first points of the game. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Smart kicks to Trout. Horford. Back and down. Hayward covered by Wiggins. Hayward against Buck. Shot clock at five. Thomas passes to Horford. Trout to get back on track. No good. And Minnesota will come the other way. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Here's Gibson. Shot is off. Hayward with some nice D. Thomas kicks to Hayward. Unloads. Boston again missing. Minnesota in the lead. Jones drives in. That's good. And now, the first time I'll call here for Boston. Just trying to get a break in the action to clear some heads here. I mean, they've gone ice cold, and, and not a bad idea to give them a little quick breather. Yeah, they needed the timeout here. Anything to try to get them to forget about the missed shots and, and get themselves back on track. And so it's Boston with it after the basket by Minnesota. Thomas, no luck. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't got one to fall to the court. Pass to Jones. There's Crawford with the three. No good. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Jones dishes to Aldrich. Passes it to Crawford. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside Butler. Six to shoot. And that's his second foul already. And that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. The Timberwolves have converted one of two free throws so far today. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. And you can't take those numbers lightly, fellas. I mean, their free throw shooting made a difference for them in a lot of their games last season. Crowder, the pass to Horford. Banked in off the glass. Horford's got six. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. The Timberwolves shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. Good on both. He's always been extremely reliable with the line. Today's been no different. Now, Smart 
Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Thomas, and he uses the glass on the way. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. And so the first quarter wraps up without too much action on the... Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And guys, what's your take so far in the Timberwolves? Right, right from the start, they have been able to really own that paint and just dominate the backboard. Well, Greg, you can't dominate the boards unless all five guys are making the effort to box out and chase down the ball. Now here's Jones. Here's Dang. The second chance effort. And Rozier pulls it down. Boston trail. Morris a screen. Brown outside. He dishes it to Morris. Tatum gets the three-pointer to fall. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Now Crawford. He feeds it to Aldrich. Back to Crawford. Puts up a three. That's good. Crawford's got five points. And perhaps the best thing about him, Steve, is the way he takes charge down the stretch of close games. The higher the stakes, the better he plays. Now, here is Morris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. That's great, Minnesota. And Tang gets it to go. And now a three-point Minnesota lead. Austin's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And Butler sends it back. And they get it back. That's good. The Timberwolves have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Brown against Crawford. Butler on the way. He passes to Aldridge. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Aldridge has got his first bucket of the night. Well, here in the second, not as listless. They're showing some signs of life offensively. You know, steadying themselves. After a tough start, they're back on track. Some changes for Minnesota. Rush comes in for Damian Lillard. And it's Aldridge in for C.J. McCollum. Here's Dang. He kicks it to Crawford. The feed now to Towns. Outside Butler. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. That went on a limit. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Here's Rozier. Nice ball movement by Boston. He feeds it to Baines. Pass to Rozier. Morris. Here's Rozier. Jang defending. And it's Rozier missing. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but 